Hi, I'm Donya Metzger, and I'm bringing you 100 videos of vocal exercises for embodied expressive singing. Today is day two, and we are gonna play with a technique that's probably familiar to you, but with a twist. We are gonna do some straw phonation. I like this metal one because it's got a little slope at the end, which means that the condensation that I breathe in is not gonna fall out onto my pants or my floor. <laughs> so, First, we will start by just doing some warming up, singing through the straw. Now, if you haven't done this before, all you need to do is sing through the straw. The, the, the one thing to keep in mind is that the sound is going through the straw, so the air is going through the straw and not coming out your nose. And you can tell the difference because if you plug your nose when you are singing through the straw, it will either change the sound or not, depending on whether there's air. So I'll demonstrate. So here's air not going through the straw. Same sound when I plug my nose. And here's air escaping through my nose. So you can hear the difference. If you get that change of sound, you need to breathe more through the straw. And that means your soft palate needs to be lifted if you wanna pay attention to that. Otherwise, just concentrate on going through the straw. So let's start nice and easy, mid-range, just some sliding around to explore. So grab a straw and let's try it. Now you might have some jumps and bumps along the way and we're just not gonna worry about that. Oops, that didn't work. So once you're used to the feeling of it, let's go straight to expression. We're here for embodied expressive singing. So we're gonna spend as little time as possible on technical singing and go straight to expression. So we're gonna use a song. I'm gonna choose Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because I know it really well and I don't have to think about it. But you can choose whatever song um, is comfortable and easy for you. So I'll also stick pretty mid-range to do this as this is one of the first things that I'm doing in my singing today. So here I will sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Straw, <laughs> Twinkle Twinkle Little Star through the straw. Here we go. So you might notice different areas of your face buzzing when you do that. You might notice the straw buzzing. You might notice that your voice feels different in different places in your range. And that's all interesting stuff to pay attention to. So now let's try some experiments to see what it's like to engage our creativity and our, our spontaneity and storytelling while doing this technical exercise of singing through a straw. So let's now try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as though you are two years old or three years old and you still just sing because it's part of being a little kid, you know, jumping in puddles and singing, doing all the kinds of things that you do as a little person. So we're aiming for this like easy, free, um, unself-conscious, playful kind of version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So here's three-year-old me with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So for me, I notice that when I do that, imagining that I'm a little person, my spine moves a lot more and my head moves a lot more. So that's an interesting cue to what freedom feels like in my body. So now let's try um, singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as though you're singing it to a brand new baby 
who has, of course, the vast potential of, you know, unlimited amazing things that might happen for this little baby. And they are as wondrous as a star in the sky. Interesting. I got distracted at the very beginning of that because my straw wasn't lined up very well and so I started thinking about the straw instead of about the song and the story. So I'm going to go back and do it again and this time concentrate more on the story. That's fascinating. Singing about something as emotionally affecting as that started to kind of get um, into my my breathing. And uh, so that tells me that if I was gonna sing, perform a version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with that particular story, I would need to do a little bit more work on um, letting myself feel those emotions while still breathing. Uh, so that's really interesting for me. Okay, so last version, let's imagine that we're gonna sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in a group of hundreds of singers, all in the same place, <laughs> singing live together. And uh, this performance of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is at a planetarium and there's a huge screen overhead that shows the night sky and it's so amazing and wondrous and there are nebula and there are comets and planets and all kinds of things that are so amazing if you really stop to think about it. And we're a part of this great group of tons and tons of singers all doing this thing together. So let's imagine that one together. go. Several different, very different versions of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, all just to practice um, storytelling and being expressive while singing during a warm-up. If you like this video and you're interested in more, hit the like button, smash the like button, my husband would say, <laughs> and subscribe to our channel for more content, and um, leave me a comment about how that was for you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.